I definitely would share what company I drive for, but I cannot. I literally cannot because in the past, I've shared my companies and people will call in on me. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh, I mean, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with you. That's right. It is best not to mention the company you're driving for if you're making social media videos. In this clip right here, China Trap says mentioning company names is a no no. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I definitely would share what company I drive for, but I cannot. I literally cannot because. In the past, I've shared my companies and people will call in on me and lie and say I'm doing things and I cut them off in traffic and stuff like that just to try to get me fired. Like, I'm the sweetest person in this world and I literally get hate for driving a truck. Like, people really don't like me because I post videos on TikTok driving a truck. It is miserable. Man, that's what they do out here. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, many people do many things. You know, they they do it different. You know, they uh, they see you online. They see you shucking, jiving, having fun, TikToking away. You know, TikTok dancing and everything. And you know, you just got some people that you know that's watching you. They they're not watching you because they like you. You know they they probably watch you for different things you probably might be a popular TikToker that drives for a particular company or something like that and somebody at that same company is just not feeling you and they just want to mess with your livelihood or you probably got one of those followers or viewers that just come across the channel or your page and just say hey look look at that driver just being all distracted and everything and a lot of you drivers do be distracted i mean y'all drive with your cameras on you sometimes talking during a live feed and what they mean by talking during a live feed like you're interacting with the conversation that's going on in the in the chat session so that's not being you know that's not being focused that's being distracted because you're going to have to take a little bit of time and look over to your you know to your phone and seeing what the people is actually saying but this happens all the time drivers this happens to everybody you know a lot of times uh people put their names of their companies or their logos or the companies or their truck number or the companies that they drive for and then you got the internet sleuths out there that's like they'll zoom in their screenshot their you know screen record and everything and everything just to get that little piece of information that they can use against you this happens to a lot of drivers, a lot of a lot of YouTube drivers that I came across. I think if I'm not mistaken, I I think I know at least about four or five of them. You know, maybe uh, I say maybe about three out of the out of the five came online and actually, you know, test a, gave a testimonial about somebody calling somebody's company actually there was a there was a youtuber back in the day uh, i'm not sure if he still makes youtube but uh, it was claimed allegedly that another youtuber you know got him fired after he found out you know the company that he was driving for because they was in a in a youtube beef of some sorts but yes, yes, my honest suggestion to anybody out there, new drivers, important is that if you're a social media aficionado, as you say, and you're a, a, a company driver, and I'm saying company driver, because if you're an owner operator, it really doesn't matter. You know, you really want to push it out there. But if you're a company driver and you're on social media, 
sometimes it's best not to put the company that you're driving for out there unless unless you're one of those drivers that wants to get the uh the promotion the referral bonus and all like that and what i say to that is maybe start a separate channel you know start a separate channel for that you know hey i'm such and such i'm a driver for prime swift you know mega carriers and all like that and and promote it that way i guess because if you're promoting a company then that's kind of different if you want to if you want to get something out of the company and you you want to promote the company that way especially if the company is paying you more than just what the referral bonus is then yes i would suggest that you make a separate uh, account and promote it that way but if not you know if you're a, a big tiktoker or a big youtuber or a small youtuber it really doesn't matter sometimes it's just best if you want to <laughs> if you don't want nobody playing with your money because that's what people is out here doing i mean times are crazy they're crazy and i i already read in the comments already that maybe about three four people in the comments already said that they got they got fired simply because they was making videos of their companies or they had their company's name or they're mentioning their company name in the videos that they was making you know at first they wasn't thinking no no big deal you know but now when it comes to uh comes to the money yeah 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 you you might want to just leave the logos companies trucks all the all the trappings and all that other good stuff off social media Ooh.